What is the secret to staying useful in your 50s, 60s and beyond? Well, I'm not talking about lotions and potions on your face. I'm talking about staying young from the inside and out. And in this video, I'm going to describe it. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you, if you're a woman over 40 or like me, over 50, get in fantastic shape. And I believe you can actually be in the best shape of your life, your entire life in fact, when you're over 50, 60 and you've got people like Ernestine Shepherd and she's actually in her 80s and she's in amazing shape and she was in better shape in her senior years than she was in her junior years. So when I'm talking about being useful, what I mean is a useful body, it's going to translate into sort of useful skin as well and useful health. And what you need to know before I actually go into it is what my background is because I was by no means perfect. I had a pretty unhealthy lifestyle for many, many years and I'm going to talk about it. So in my late 40s, I really struggled to lose body fat, but I was also struggling with mental health issues. I was really, really depressed having gone through a pretty messy marriage breakdown and divorce. I was so low, I didn't know what to do with myself, but on a friend's recommendation, I actually didn't go down the route of taking antidepressants and instead I took up exercise. Now I had done exercise throughout my 30s and 40s but I was very much on and off with it so I tried my hand at something new. I actually joined what's called a CrossFit box and CrossFit is a style of exercise which combines powerlifting, high intensity interval training and gymnastics and it's really challenging and what I found is it actually tackled my depression because while I was doing the class it was so hard that I actually couldn't think of anything else just focusing on getting through the workouts and what happened is I actually fell in love with lifting weights, fell in love with strength training. Strength training is one of the key areas that is gonna help you retain your youth and actually turn back the clock if you take up strength training. It really is the elixir of youth and I'm gonna be talking about this in this video. Now, what happened is I did CrossFit for actually 18 months. I learned quite a few things. I learned how to do a pull up, how to do a pistol squat, how to do handstands, and I learned powerlifting techniques when it comes to weightlifting. But what was happening, because it is in a highly competitive environment, I was picking up injuries. And the physio that I was seeing at the time, that I still see now, he actually recommended that I give that up and focus purely on strength training because as I said CrossFit is in a competitive environment where you're doing it at pace and so what can happen sometimes is your technique goes off but with just pure weightlifting and pure strength training you're doing it in a controlled way that's actually slow controlled movements far better for somebody like me that's older not so hard on your joints you're not so likely to pick up injuries. But what I found with strength training is I wasn't getting in the physical condition. I wanted to have that fitness model look, the look that you find in magazines like Muscle and Fitness Hers, and I really want to explore that. But what I found is that I was doing a lot of things that weren't right, and I've made a total separate video about that, and I'm gonna link it up here, but I made a ton of mistakes. I was actually failing for two and a half years to get in the shape that I wanted to be. Although I had beaten my depression through exercise and I was feeling a lot better what I wasn't feeling better about was how I looked because I couldn't understand it and I thought well you know people like Ernestine Shepherd she can get up on stage and compete in bodybuilding shows and she can look fantastic 
and she's in her 80s. So what am I doing wrong? And I started to do a lot of the research to find out really what I needed to be doing. And that was incorporating more strength training, dialing in on nutrition, and taking your protein high. And so in my mind, I set a goal of I want to eventually go on to compete in bikini competitions, in other words, bodybuilding shows. Having given up CrossFit and doing strength training for around about a year, I was getting in better shape, but not the shape that I was really, really hungry for. And that's getting that lean, more muscular look. And so, you know, although my body shape was improving, I wasn't in the place where I really wanted to be. At the same time, I was taking an interest in bodybuilding competitions and I actually went to see a female in the gym that went to compete in a bodybuilding show. I kind of got this really strong desire to do that and that's what I did. So I hired myself a coach in September 2019. She took me to stage and I actually learned a lot of the techniques about getting in shape, getting body transformation. And that's when I had a light bulb moment and I thought, this isn't actually that difficult. It's pretty simple. So I want to share those steps with you. They're going to give you the elixir of youth. Not only is it about looking physically better, it's actually going to give you youthfulness, longevity, and it's going to improve your health long term. But also some of the other benefits are you're going to have better skin, you're going to look more youthful. And so if you can implement these things, I promise you it is going to make a massive difference to improving on how you feel overall but also how you look overall as an older woman. So the first thing I learned was nutrition is absolutely key to achieving a useful look. You can buy all the creams, you can do the surgery, you can have facial enhancements but it's really important to have that nutrition right so that you're healthy from the inside side out. And what can happen when you're older is you can actually have a lot of inflammation in your body. And what's not helpful for inflammation or causes more inflammation are things like processed foods, trans fats, lots of refined sugar. So it's really important if you want youthfulness to actually cut those things out of your diet and focus on a healthy whole foods diet. So what that means is plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables, plenty of protein as well because protein is going to help you with building and maintaining muscle and strength training. I'm going to talk about this in a minute but it's the elixir of youth but you do have to have the right nutrition in order to get the benefit from strength training. So it's really important to have plenty of protein in. I've actually made a video all about nutrition which I will link in the description. Secondly, the massive elixir of youth, the fantastic fantastic benefits of strength training. I'm going to talk about the aesthetic benefits first of all. When you reach the age of over 40, what is happening is you're losing muscle mass at a rate of just under 1% per year. That's a lot of muscle lost if you're thinking about it over 10 years. It's almost 10%. And what muscle does is it actually helps your body's metabolism. So it's going to help you burn fat more easily. Having less fat on you actually gives you a youthful appearance, doesn't it? That toned, shapely look. It's not something you should be afraid of and think, oh, I'm going to get bulky. It's not about bulk and putting on a massive amount of muscle. And actually, as a female over 40, over 50, over 60 even, it's actually quite hard to put on a massive amount of muscle. For many women, it's actually just putting back the muscle that you've lost through the aging process and continuing to retain that muscle. And then what you're going to have is tightness on your body. You're not going to have those flabby areas, flabby areas that are hanging down and loose areas to your skin and body. Because strength training, what that does is actually tightens everything up. That's going to give you that youthful appearance. I 
I'm wearing clothes that are actually showing my midriff, you know, and you're not going to be afraid to show off your arms. It's not going to aid you because strength training actually is going to make you look a lot younger and then we've got the health benefits so it's fantastic for your heart for your bone health prevent brittle bone diseases it's really good for your balance stability and your mobility so what happens when you're older is kind of use it or lose it so what you want to be doing is actually exercising on a regular basis and what that means is it's going to keep you young because you're going to keep the strength in your muscles so you'll be able to move around more easily better balance and you're going to have better stability so it's really going to benefit your long-term health now maintaining your youth is also about keeping moving generally so you're not going to be wanting to strength train for example every single day or do intense cardio activity every single day but you absolutely can do some kind of movement every day and the problem in the world that we live in today is everyone the western world in particular we're just far too sedentary so what you want to be doing is getting out walking maybe doing the gentle exercises like yoga which again that's really great for your balance stability and mobility and pilates and i've recently taken up yoga and pilates in the last six months and i found it really beneficial to helping me move around better preventing injury preventing pain strengthening my core and walking is absolutely fantastic because everyone can do walking that's one way of just ensuring that you are actually moving more so moving around is going to keep you young i'm going to talk about drinking now because what you drink has a huge impact on your youthfulness and i'm going to talk about what you should drink first so you should drink plenty of water i have a few of these every day which is like a hot lemon water i'm constantly sipping this or sipping from my water bottle the benefits of water are as you get older you do lack hydration it's going to keep your body hydrated it's going to be fantastic for your digestive system really good for your skin good for fat loss and really good for your overall health you cannot underestimate keeping hydrated is really really important so i'm going to talk about now what not to drink and a big one for me is alcohol full disclosure here in my younger days i actually had an alcohol problem and when i say my younger days i was drinking right up until my late 40s probably early 50s actually I cut back a lot five years ago and kind of gave up drinking on a regular basis and then about four years ago I gave up drinking altogether why because I'm not brilliant at just having one drink I'm the kind of person that if I have one drink of alcohol I want to have another and another and another and that's why I describe it as an alcohol problem because I did not have a good relationship with alcohol it can creep into your life where you might be using it as a mental crutch that's what I was doing and also it becomes habit forming back before I addressed that I actually had a problem I would have been drinking almost every single day which is really unhealthy but the important thing to say is for women over 40 at this stage in life it's actually even more unhealthy and if you're going through perimenopause menopause or your postmenopause, it can actually be a big problem where it brings on more menopause symptoms. I actually mentioned that it's really difficult to keep hydrated and alcohol actually dehydrates you. It's a diuretic and it can give you a lot of sleep disturbance, which you get far more around the time of the menopause. You get sleep disturbance anyway and alcohol makes it much worse. It can be bad for your skin because it's really drying so it can really age you in terms of your face you don't want anything that's actually going to make that worse 
and if you do want to continue to drink alcohol is not drink it on a regular basis just having it on special occasions and a small amount it's going to serve you much better and keep you younger for longer by avoiding alcohol as much as possible one of the things that I swear by that keeps me young and that's letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore and doing things that you enjoy I love music I love music going out dancing getting out and about to music festivals and weekenders that's what I love doing let my hair down we've come to a time in life where we've got to start sort of putting ourselves first they give you much better mental health a healthier mind and a healthier body because if you have a healthier mind you're going to have a healthier body but it's also learning to say no to situations and people that don't serve you anymore because this can cause you stress and anxiety and stress and anxiety it's going to age you isn't it and it's all about learning to relax and de-stressing those are the things that are going to make you younger for longer putting yourself first taking some me time really focus on those things that you love to do without feeling guilty about it is there something you do to feel feel young please share in the comment section if there's anything i've missed that you do that keeps you young i would love to know